Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Omicron webinar on basic testing. My name is Huda Asadi, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. I'm currently working as the Regional Marketing and Communications Coordinator for the MIA region. I would like to draw your attention to the microphone. As you can see on the control panel, it's been put on mute to ensure a silent environment for the benefit of all our participants. Later in the question and answer session, you can raise your hand and we will turn on your microphone to allow you to ask your question. Please note that this webinar will be recorded, but we will stop the recording at the Q&A session. To ask questions throughout the session, please choose the question dedicated area as illustrated on this slide. We will try our best to answer as many questions as possible. However, if any question has not been answered, please note that we will answer it on a follow-up email after the webinar. We will have some polls during the webinar that looks similar to this. All you have to do is to click on an, an answer. Please make sure to download the presentation and the product brochures from the hands out section indicated in this slide. Please note that the presentation will not be included into the thank you mailing after the webinar. The recording will be sent to you in the follow up email. This email will also include a feedback form. We would highly appreciate your response to help us better serve your needs. Enjoy your webinar. I will now hand over to Aditya for the introduction. Hello, everyone. I hope you are able to see me and uh, hear me as well. My name is Aditya Taneja. I'm going to be one of the panelists today uh, to facilitate uh, uh, some Q&A sessions and also take your questions offline or in the background while uh, Mohammed Ibrahim is uh, preparing, uh, presenting. So we are having uh, this webinar on basic testing, which is uh, a very niche uh, thing uh, in a way that we are more focused on the advanced tests when it comes to Omicron, but there is also a very big um, part of the power system which is quite, you know, basic. It is it does not need too much of uh, advanced functionality for testing. And how we are going to address that, Ibrahim is going to tell us today. So welcome, uh, Ibrahim. Uh, before I get into, I give the presentation to Ibrahim. Let me just quickly give a very quick update on. Who I am, and uh, my name is Aditya Taneja. I am. I will be the panelist today. I am an area sales manager and also a regional application specialist. And I keep doing webinars myself. You must might have seen me in one of my webinars. So it's a good tool to connect in this in this period of. Um, lockdown and working from home. I hope you all guys are safe. I have uh, a background of 10 years working in uh, electrical uh, testing equipments and most of my experiences in the, in the power system uh, from 11 kV to 765 kV. And I have uh, done my engineering and my, my MBA. You can contact me uh, through my email or through LinkedIn during the session uh, or afterwards for any questions or anything. So I will be taking care of question and answers. So keep uh, putting your question and answers and I will answer them in the background. And at the end, I will uh, discuss these questions with Ibrahim and you all can uh, you know, take part in that. Little bit about Omicron in case you are new to to, to the Omicron company as such. Uh, we, are, we are a team of 900 uh, employees in 45 different uh, locations and having 25 different offices. We are covering the, the world market uh, with this team and the setup. 
and also we have a lot of our sales partners who are also part of our uh, attendees today they are very vital link for us to you know um, cater to such a broad market so a warm welcome to all the sales partners who are joining us today and as as a company we uh, strive to develop innovative products which are of having which are having very high quality um, mostly in testing and monitoring side uh, for the power system and uh, the major development work happens in in austria klaus where our factory is and this session uh, uh, as you can see it is under academy so we have a separate group which talks about uh, trainings which uh, is focusing on sharing knowledge which we are going to do with ibrahim today and with this i'll uh, introduce ibrahim to you our presenter today and he has a vast experience in this field um, with 17 years uh, in this field and out of which 12 years has, has been in the gcc itself and with he has been with omicron since uh, july 2015 and uh, he's focusing on uh, technical and application support on primary and secondary testing and diagnostic uh, equipments so he's also doing a lot of uh, theoretical and practical training courses for you including the the ones like this and uh, further he develops application notes and technical papers so you you can see him on uh, various platforms uh, organized by Seagre and other uh, bodies where he presents and uh, he has his uh, a bsc degree in electrical engineering and a postgraduate studies uh, diploma in electrical power engineering 2007 so welcome ibrahim before i go into the final part uh, of handing over to him uh, all our content is uh, subject to copyright so don't reproduce them or record them uh, without our consent so with this i'll uh, welcome ibrahim Thank you, and, Hoda. Thank you, Aditya, for your presentation. Um, and thank you all uh, for attending our uh, webinar and uh, having time with us today. Yes, please give me the presentation. You will have it now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I hope you are seeing my presentation right now. Uh, we are seeing the, the other screen, the screen which... Uh, okay okay good to know okay now yeah perfect okay thank you very much uh okay uh my uh, topic today it will be focused on basic testing uh it is not only protection it's not uh, related to primary it's actually mix for both of them and uh, plus also meter testing and transducer testing uh what does it mean uh basic testing Actually, here I give an example for testing over current protection uh, by using uh, basic testing methods for you. Uh, we need to test the start signal, which is a pickup signal. For sure, we need to apply um, um, uh, the test for getting the pickup value and getting the top off for sure. And after this, we need to uh, apply the test to get the trip time. And uh, to do the pickup and drop off, it's a kind of uh, easy way. We need to increase the current slightly, gradually, until getting the pickup, then decreasing the current gradually and until getting the drop-off. This uh, kind of uh, checking sensitivity of the protection relay, it's uh, very basic uh, and very essential and important for testing any protection relay based on the uh, protection element. This is related to the overcurrent. What about the overvoltage? It is the same philosophy, but in case uh, of using current, we need to use a voltage. And how to do the trip test? In some utilities, uh, they insist to inject two times the fault condition. If it is current, it means two times uh, uh, fault current or the setting of the uh, overcurrent and getting the feedback from the relay. And this is more than enough to check that the trip time is okay or not okay. I know that a lot of protection function is not 
uh, having a fixed current or a uh, fixed time or a constant time, like uh, inverse characteristic, for example, for the overcurrent, it is uh, uh, related to the amount of the injected current. Then it's a kind of uh, we have an equation we need to verify, and also this can be done by using the ba uh, basic testing method. How to do this? Uh, again, I have the example of uh, how to connect the protection relay over current, very basic over current relay. Uh, it is uh, commonly connected to the output of the current transformer, uh, and uh, sometimes it is connected to a Gursky coil, but mostly it is connected to the uh, CT. A normal city and in future and in some utilities they have uh, non-conventional CT it will be a sample value but our topic today will focus on conventional CT uh, we need to inject the current into the relay and the relay feedback coming uh, to the trip circuit we get to know we get to connect it to our test equipment what is the application for basic testing Actually, the application, I have three categories here. Category one, about the protection relay testing. We have electromechanical, static, numerical, and uh, relay panels. All of those can be tested using basic protection, uh, yeah, basic testing. Uh, in many cases, during the maintenance, we don't need to go for a comprehensive uh, or advanced testing. Uh, we need only to check the functionality. And to do this, we don't need to spend more time for our setup to do the comprehensive testing. Uh, most of you, as my colleague uh, Aditya mentioned, maybe they are, you, 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 are, you, you know already that Omicron is uh, expert in advanced and comprehe comprehensive testing, but some of you, you don't know that we also uh, focus on basic testing and we have a lot of product to cover and fulfill this application. The other category is uh, sub, uh, substation commissioning. Uh, basic testing is also fitting to do SCADA test, SCADA annotation test. We don't need any advanced testing in this way, only a kind of a closed uh, loop uh, feedback testing. CT and VT polarity checking, uh, wiring check, and also mm, a very basic CT ratio and VT ratio test. The third category is uh, distributed energy resources, DER. Now it is a commonly uh, used in everywhere. I mean here is a renewable uh, power uh, resources uh, like solar energy, like uh, wind turbine, and a lot of uh, renewable. Uh, we need also to test and we have the basic testing to test the general protection function in it, interconnection uh, protection and the measurement and control for sure. How we can do this? Omicron offered uh, a, a basic tool to simplify your routine test, especially in case you, knew you would like to test some basic function. Like what? We have a CM control and we have two versions of CM control, a hardware version and a software version. And the software is divided into two categories. The first one is CM control app, which is already available on uh, Android um, Google uh, Play market. It is free of a charge, but you need to purchase a license to communicate with the CMC, but you can download it free of a charge, try it as a demo mode without any issue. The second one is uh, Windows PC software, already available the software on, on our customer portal. You can download it, it's free of a charge, only you need a license to communicate with the CMC. And uh, the hardware, the second on, on the right hand side, the hardware, it is licensor free. Once you have it, you can connect it to any CMC with Ethernet that, and you can control it very straightforward without any issue. That's why we have two categories and one category is divided into two other categories, hardware, software, and the software will be Windows PC and also Android tablet or Android mobile. Uh, benefits behind uh, of this uh, basic testing method, for sure. Very simple, very fast, save your time, especially in the application which is not required any advanced testing. Runs on a Microsoft uh, operating system, Android tablet. You can also use a Wi-Fi communication. In this way, uh, you will save a lot of time of the connecting cables and uh, all of that stuff. Reducing testing, testing effort for sure, increase the productivity. Flexible work, uh, working uh, position. 
and no special training required because it's very simple and straightforward. You, it's a touch screen and you will follow the instruction on this uh, touch screen. I will start now with the CM Control app. It's already available, as I mentioned before, on an, uh, Android uh, Google uh, Play Market. Just download only search for CM Control B app and you will find it uh, available. You can download it and you can try to practice it. And it is very easy to use it. No cable are required because you can use a Wi-Fi connection, a Wi-Fi. All CMC is right now with Net2 technology. It's already compatible with a Wi-Fi dongle, which it allow you to control the CMC wireless. Uh, it's also flexible, uh, handheld operation with Android tablet. Uh, how, uh, also, also, you can use the same with uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Windows PCs. And also, it has integrated user manual. That's why I said it's uh, tra a, a training free. You don't, want, you don't need to have a long training for it. It's very easy. Once you have it, I'm very sure that you can uh, use it uh, uh, very simple. The store and display test result on the device. And this is something of uh, a required uh, feature that you, uh, we need. I know that a lot of basic test equipment are already available in the market with other, uh, from the other competitor, but the, one of the obstacles that we face that, okay, even if it is a basic testing, we would like to save and record the test, re the test result in a test report. Uh, CM Control B or hardware, it enables you to record the test report, which it can be print out and uh, also it can be saved on your device for revision and for reviewing your results in future. Here, this is a CM Control B. It's a hardware, it's not the application as we mentioned before. It's a dedicated, rigid uh, CMC accessory. You can you have to con connect it with the Ethernet by using power over Ethernet technology. You don't need any additional cable. It's only a kind of very simple Ethernet cable. You can use ours, which is a very rigid one, or even you can use any Ethernet cable without any problem. It's a it is a touch screen, uh, about seven inches. Uh, adjust the output value, current voltage, current and voltage as well, and we'll, we'll know later on uh, about this. Uh, flexible hand handling and a convenient working position for sure. It is a magnetic one. You can stick it on any protection or any metal uh, surface that make your life easy for testing. Uh, store uh, the test result, so the test report on USB stick memory, which it is attached with the device. And you can also use your own flash memory to store the test report. This is how it's look like. We have a seven inches touch screen and we have the control wheel to increase and decrease. And uh, 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 from my personal advice, I like to have a keypad, which is directly uh, controlling the uh, analog uh, signal to be adjusted. For me, it's better than uh, using the control wheel, but sometimes to make gradually uh, increasing or decreasing control wheel will be a perfect. We have a push button for injection or to a start and stop. And also uh, we have a, a, a magnetic uh, rear, which is enable us to be attached to any metallic surface. The function for it, we have many function, which is covered by using this uh, tool. Even it is a CM control app, a software, or even a CM control hardware. Maybe I will go for this in the next slide. I will start with the wiring check. One of the very basic tool which we have to apply before starting any protection testing. Why? Because if you have a wrong connection, it means that your testing will not be correct uh, ever. You have to check the wiring before starting. And this tool is already built in. Just you click on it. It will be ready-made just to uh, inject uh, with a pre-made uh, setting. You can also uh, change and you have to read it out on the relay. If it is correct, then you have to continue without any problem. We have a ready-made uh, test test tool called the pickup and drop off. It's already ready-made. Only you, it, it will ask you for a very few settings to start your test. Uh, and also we have direct. Direct is a 
very, very similar to the uh, same way of Quick CMC, which is enable you to control the analog signal directly, whatever you need to inject, and you will get the feedback. It's a kind of a direct, uh, direct control to your uh, CMC. Uh, we have a time for trip time for sure. We have also recloser, which is designed to test auto recloser uh, shots and uh, dead time and uh, um, um, reclosure time. And also we have a time characteristic. It's belong to mostly belong to the overcurrent. I mean that um, uh, IEC, uh, ANC, and all uh, standard curves like uh, inverse, very inverse, extremely inverse, long time inverse. All of this already include. And we ha I have an, one example I will show it to you later on. Not less, but we can also test energy meters. And we can use uh, our CMC as a multimeter to measure a current and voltage, but this only uh, uh, applicable in case you have ELT option. If you have 256 plus, by default, it is already implemented. If you have 353, 356, you have to ask about ELT option. Is it available or not in your case? And also we can test the transducer as well. This is a, uh, an example to show you how the overcurrent characteristic can be tested by using this method. Uh, as you see here, you have to select time characteristic and it is already implemented internally, all the kind of curves and you can test via it. And you, after this, you can uh, save the test report with the graphical test results of the characteristics. Also, it will enable you to use different full type, face-to-face, face-to-earth, and also symmetric and, and, and unsymmetrical component also can be tested. Not only, not only this, you can also use uh, this method to test uh, impedance for distance relay protection, under impedance relays, and power value for power directional as well, frequencies for load shading and frequency, uh, uh, frequency uh, protection. We have a symmetrical for positive and, and negative uh, sequence and also component. And also don't, don't forget we have rate of change of frequency DF by DT, which is commonly used in um, uh, load shading. Uh, here, it's an example to show you how you can control the value of the in, uh, in, uh, injection. It is very easy, straightforward. It, as you remember, I told you we have a wheel which it can control uh, gradually increase, decrease, and set the value. At the same time, we have the keypad, uh, which it allow you uh, something I like it a lot. Straightforward, just give the number, and you will be ready to start your test. As you see here, this is the, how it look like the nominal characteristic. We have also up to three stages for the overcurrent. For example, I have a inverse a inverse characteristic or a very inverse as we have it right now. Uh, with a pickup value, I have to enter and time multiply or time dial. And stage two, stage three as a backup. If you would like to have it, you can also enable it and you get one report, the three stages at the same time. This is how it will look like during the testing. At the same time, also, you can export this uh, to a test report and print it later on. The application, for sure, we have a substation uh, commissioning. It, should, it can be used for SCADA, annotation, wiring check, CT and VT, basic uh, ratio test, meter testing, transducer, multimeter, synchronization devices testing, protection relays, mole function can be tested, but uh, don't forget it is a basic testing over current under, under voltage, all type of directional function, distance, differential, recloser, circuit breaker simulation, and many, many more. This was the first part of our, our uh, session for today. And one of the devices which we would like to have with the CM control for sure. Maybe some of you, do, uh, it's your first time to know that we have a device called CMC310. Uh, it is a manual protection testing, the easy way. Why we need to show this? Because this is as uh, entry level for you. It's not uh, expensive. Uh, it's a budgetary device, which anyone can have it. And the good news about this, it is upgradable to be used with uh, Test Universe in case you would like to upgrade it to become 353. And we will talk about this one later. 
and CMC uh, three ten. It's a very basic one, very light device, which is very handy. You can use it. You have here, uh, 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 you can you have here CM control application or CM control a hardware which it can be attached. It's based on your uh, option. If you would like to have the hardware, it's okay. If you would like to have the application in a steady so also available. Uh, for sure, it's reducing the testing effort, increasing the productivity, high uh, reliable and economic solution for sure, future proof because we can upgrade this unit to B353 in case you would like to use a test universe, one of the brilliant software worldwide. This is how it looks like. We have here three phase of voltage up to 300 volt phase to neutral for sure. You can control the frequency, the amplitude, and the angle as well. You can use it as a DC or AC for sure because you can control the frequency. You have a three phase current, which is uh, up to 32 ampere per each channel. You can change the hardware connection to get higher current. And also uh, uh, in the voltage, you can change it to get one single phase, 600 volt in some application, this is uh, necessary. Also, we have auxiliary DC supply, which is very uh, important in case you have a dead protection panel and you need to start the test. You can use your CMC as a power supply, but don't forget uh, to use it within the uh, burden, uh, which is allowed. And also we have a four binary output and six binary input is already available. This is how it's looked like the back view of the CMC return. As you see right now, we have a USB port A, which is a type A, which is used for the dongle of the Wi-Fi, which you can use it to control it wireless. And also we have the interface for scanning head, which is used for uh, uh, testing the energy meter. Uh, and also uh, we have the other USB uh, B type, uh, which is used for uh, uh, BC, con uh, BC controlling via CM control, um, CM control Windows uh, operating system. And we have also the uh, Ethernet in case you would like to use the Ethernet instead of USB. This is how it looks like the CM Control B hardware attached with the CMC310. It is a very handy, and you can also, by the way, remove this uh, and stick it on the protection panel, only connected to the CMC, and you can use it as uh, attached with uh, CMC310. This is how it looks like if you would like to use the wireless uh, option. It's only a kind of a very small stick, just you plug it. It will give you a Wi-Fi network with the same name of the CMC. The password is two times the serial number of the, your kit, which is also enable you to change it in case you would like to change this password in future. Uh, through this Wi-Fi network, you can control your CMC via your Android mobile or Android tablet or even your or a laptop using um, CM control uh, software under Windows. This is a very good and a valuable uh, feature. As I told you, a CMC is written as it is an entry level uh, for the customer who don't who doesn't uh, who doesn't own any CMC. Uh, he can purchase this in the earlier stage and uh, in future he can upgrade to use uh, to be CMC353. What is the feature and what is the application? Uh, for sure, he, uh, in case you upgrade, you can use IEC61850 application, which is commonly now in the new projects. It can be used for sample value, uh, uh, publishing, and also subscribing goose and publishing goose as well. And we have new unique test module for the client server SCADA application. This is all benefit behind upgrading for three, CMC 353. And we will talk about this one uh, in details later on. One of the application, maybe some of you, you would like to use a very common and uh, easy way by using nine volt DC battery with a galvanometer for the deflection clockwise and anti-clockwise. But in some application, this is a very difficult to be used. Uh, I will give one of the examples which I faced by myself. I was in a substation, uh, the distance between the gantry, between the CT and the marshalling, 
to the protection panel. It's around one kilometer. And we have many panels in between, like uh, uh, we have a protection panel. After this, we have a fault recorder panel. After this, we have a, a metering panel using interposing CT in between. And this is a lot of connection, which may be leads for um, uh, misconnection or uh, the most uh, important problem, which is uh, reverse polarity. Uh, this is something we need to check before energization and to, do, to use the conventional method, it's, uh, it's become a very difficult, but using this technology, it's uh, very easy, straightforward. How it's look like, it, uh, your CMC or your Omicron device can generate a SUTUS, as you see right now here in the uh, green uh, color, uh, with different uh, rate of change. And our c -Bool device, this is a polarity checker uh, produced by Omicron. Uh, it's uh, self-powered uh, uh, by, uh, by using a battery. Just you press a very simple and straightforward, connected as it is, S1 and S2. This is, can be used for CT and also can be used for the VT. And uh, uh, you can use this uh, polarity uh, checker connect S1 and S2, and we have two phases. Green one, which is happy phase, that it's okay. And if it is reversed, it will give you a sad phase that polarity is reversed and you have to rectify. You can use uh, your kit to inject in the primary side, or even you can inject in the secondary side at the beginning of the secondary side for S1 and S2 for the very long loop. And this is one of the application. This is a very easy and straightforward application, but very, very uh, important before uh, energization. Uh, main application field, we have here uh, small utilities for distribution, especially industrial plants. Uh, we have a service provider we need it also, SCADA testing and DER with, uh, dist for distributed energy resources. We need, we need a very handy device, which it can be used also for smart grid applications. This is the main benefit. A, very, uh, a, big, a good design, very rigid, it's very basic for three-phase testing, easy use and uh, manual uh, method can be used for the basic testing for sure. And also it can be upgraded to 353. Now I will talk about 353, why it's a benefit to upgrade to 353 in case you would like to uh, make uh, basic testing plus comprehensive and advanced testing. Uh, 353 is the same case of uh, 310 with some extra features. It's a, a compact device for three-phase uh, relay testing and some other application. Uh, it is a compact for sure and also very style three-phase test set. Powerful current source for testing electromechanical relays for the high burden. It also can be used for the application which is used a CT uh, output 5 amp instead of 1 amp which is required high value and high burden as well. High accuracy, uh, accuracy, which it can be used for testing energy meter and transducer. We would like to mention this, that uh, we can use a CMC353 to test energy meter with class 0.5 or 0.5S. If in case you have 0.2 or 0.2S, we would like to recommend 256 plus to test this one. And also for sure, one of the, uh, Additional uh, benefit, it will it will be the integrated network for testing the IEC 61850, which was not possible uh, by using 310. It's compact design and lightweight for sure. This is how it looks like. It's the same, very similar to 310. But what is the difference here? We added additional voltage channel. We added for input uh, more. And also we have the generator combination socket, which it can be used to use only plug one cable to get three phase current, three phase voltage in one cable. This is a different from the front uh, view, but in the back side, we have additional, another Ethernet port, and both of them are power over Ethernet. Both of them are used for IEC 61 and 50. Both of them are compatible with IEEE 15AA time synchronization, which is a PTB, one of the wallet wide accurate and the high precision time synchronize, which we are using in our accessories as, uh, as well. And what else? We will also add six level uh, output, which is enable you to use 
and test to use the amplifier, external amplifier, or you can use it for testing a non-conventional CT Gorski coil in some protection uh, application. Here, one of the main advantages using Test Universe. Test Universe, one of the very powerful PC software suited for advanced secondary testing, and also it is the latest technology uh, with uh, enable you to use a, a wide range of the uh, testing library uh, files, which is now reached to more than 400. As I remember last time, it was 404 different really uh, sub, uh, really supported in our PTL protection testing library, which you can download it from the customer portal for sure. And uh, again, because the main topic is uh, basic testing, you can do the same application as we mentioned before, same by using CM control hardware or CM control app uh, using Android uh, devices or using CM control on uh, Windows PC. Relay SIM test, one of the very, very innovative software which is uh, uh, focused on system based protection testing all in one. And it's mainly simulating uh, a very realistic signal during the fault. One of the examples, in case you have a protection system, differential protection system, and this you would like to test the CT saturation behavior. Relation test will enable you to test that kind of uh, situation, which is little bit, very, not little bit, it's very, very difficult to be tested by using other uh, methods. Uh, here also, it's a cutting edge amplifier. I will talk about uh, how we can get a higher current uh, by using, uh, uh, by using our current source, especially in the testing electromechanical relays. At the same time, we have a very high accuracy, uh, a very high accurate signal, which enable us to test energy meter as we see right now. And I have one example here to show you how we can use higher current or getting a higher current from the CMC353 uh, by using hardware configuration. I have an example here for CBG as a, a electromechanical device, which is a high burden and we would like to test. Uh, to test it, it's very, very easy and straightforward just to change the hardware configuration. Uh, and once you change it, you will get a higher, higher current or and the higher burden which enable you to test that kind of uh, relay. Uh, in other application, you can also use this application, which enable you to get less power with a higher current. And uh, by using different hardware configuration, it is easy to control the burden uh, of the uh, device under test. Here we will see one of the great example in case you have uh, 32 ampere as a setting of overcurrent by using CMC353, uh, it will enable you to exceed uh, this uh, point and test the point up to 32 ampere. Uh, this is one of the benefits. Same application again can be done as we mentioned for polarity check. I will not mention it again, but again, as I told you, it's the same application commonly in many of our devices, CMC310, CMC353, and I will talk about Combano later on. The application for CMC353, it is used in many, many applications, line protection in general, in DER, medium voltage, high, uh, high voltage, and low voltage as well. It's uh, commonly used everywhere in all applications because it's, uh, it's a combination between a basic testing at the same time uh, for comprehensive testing. It is uh, 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 also very important for service provider offshore testing, SCADA commissioning engineers, and industrial application and railway protection uh, uh, application. Here it will give us three phase current and four voltage output, which is uh, a benefit or beneficial for substation commission, commissioning and for protection relay testing for power system simulator. And maybe this is um, the advantage compared to the uh, previous one that it can give you a kind of transient fault simulation, power swing, 
CT, saturation, simulation, whiskey coil, compensated network, transient playback in advance with IEC 61 and 50 testing. This is the main benefit for CMC 353, uh, three, compact and a very style three phase test set, high current amb amplitude for five ampere relay testing, powerful current source for testing electromechanical relays, high accuracy and very stability for test static and numerical relays, integrated network for uh, testing IEC 61 and 50 IEDs, portable design and lightweight. It's time now for uh, the ball. Uh, my colleague uh, Aditya will start uh, some question for you to get your feedback. Please feel free to give your, your answer. All right, you are able to see a question, a quick poll on your screen. You can answer by clicking on the on the uh, button in front of the CMC type. In case you are using a CMC which is not on the list, um, then um, just ignore it for the time being. And it is a multiple it, uh, option. I did, yeah, if you, you don't mind, you can send it, send it, send it, send it, it on the chat. Yes, chat area. Yeah. Yeah. But it is a multiple choice, uh, so you can click on more than one option if you are using multiple uh, CMCs. Okay, 15 more seconds. Fifteen more seconds. So the third poll is on. Uh, do you use CM control? Fifteen more seconds. And last question is, which relay manufacturer do you have? This is a multiple choice. You can select more than one.
15 more seconds. All right. Great. So back to you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, Aditya, and thank you all for your answers. Okay, now uh, the last topic for today, I'm talking about, I will talk about Combano 100, uh, and um, this is the main reason not to mention uh, protection uh, basic testing, because actually Combano 100, it's a mix between primary and secondary. And as you see right now, it is Combano 100, it's a primary injection, secondary injection, and a basic protection test set. It's a kind of uh, uh, multiple, multi-use uh, device. Uh, one of the um, great innovation that we have it uh, in our product range. Uh, why we need a uh, 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 combano? Uh, actually, many of the application like Wang checks uh, for uh, CT loop, VT loop uh, for, uh, to the relay or uh, to the control room. The burden measurement, uh, polarity checks, uh, simple direction or non-directional overcurrent test, also for frequency and other protection as well. Uh, micro ohm meter, the contact resistance, one of the uh, very important application which uh, we have to apply. Uh, grounding system and contact resistance measurement also it can be done. All of those application can be done by one device, which is uh, Kumban 100. And this is how it's uh, look like. And I will give some more details about it. Maybe uh, in future, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, make an... Uh, uh, another webinar for how to use. It will be uh, also more technical and more practical. Uh, sorry, this webinar mostly it is uh, for uh, uh, technical data, um, technical data sheet uh, and uh, showing the brochure about the product. But uh, we promise you that we have in future uh, technical and training uh, webinars to give you more technical and the practice. The benefit behind uh, you, uh, using a Combano. It is uh, electro electronically controlled, and this is a very, very important. Why it's important? Actually, if you are just one ampere and you would like to inject one ampere, if you have analog control, it will be not accurate because maybe the injected current, actually, it is not equal to the stated one, but by using electromechanically uh, controlled device, it will tell, give you the exactly the current which you adjust. In case if it is a high burden, it will not inject and it gives you a warning that it's not fulfilled. You have to take care. That's why it's very accurate compared to the analog control. Load a stable device output independent from the connected burden. Run complex predefined sequence and ramp. Uh, maybe some of you will ask, you already mentioned basic testing. Why you, why you mentioned that uh, complex predefined sequence, uh, kind of complex, it means advanced testing, no, no at all, uh, but as Omicron always uh, has a fingerprint in case of uh, uh, user-friendly, uh, we have some basic examples uh, which, uh, uh, needs, uh, which needs uh, some sequence in, uh, uh, in uh, testing, and by using the very basic, it will, uh, it will need more effort and more time from you. To save this, we offer this feature that you can save it on a pen drive, and later on, you can rerun this saved uh, predefined sequence to get the test results. And uh, what else? Polarity check, as we mentioned before, but here we have two ways. You can use the inbuilt uh, Combano function or about measuring the uh, angle, or you can use the accessory like polarity checker as we mentioned before. Operated by state of art, uh, the, the art battery, actually uh, this is one of the big benefits. Many of us uh, in many application, we would like to have a device based on the battery without any connecting to the main supply because it's uh, not available or even it is far away and need a lot of cables to be laid to get this power supply. And also it will give us a free to, to move uh, from place to place, a mobility. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a kind of uh, free for the uh, testing and the maintenance engineer 
to move around, uh, not limited to a place which has a power source. And this battery can last for many, many hours of use. And it, uh, for my personal experience, it lasts for one week, daily use, few hours daily. And actually it's a very lightweight. Uh, the complete device is around 10 kg. And this is very handy. I think this is uh, easy for everyone, for um, uh, men and for the ladies. They can, they can, they can, um, male, female, they can uh, lift it very easy. It's only 10 kg. And this is one of the benefits. In the next slide here, we have a comparison between the application, as you see here. This is the family range, which we have a comparison between the Combine 100 compared to the other devices, CMC and also CBC 100. You will you can find that when you check, it can be done perfectly, optimized for this uh, device uh, and polarity check as well, burden a, a measurement, uh, quick and, and basic relay testing. Also, micro-ohmmeter can do the, uh, the contact resistance measurement. I didn't mention this. It can give up to 100 ampere DC, 110 ampere AC. Imagine you have a device very handy, powered by a battery, can give you 110 ampere AC, 100 ampere DC, which is required for contact resistance for sure. Ground system and measurement, this is for a small grounding system, can be used as a, a, as a testing device, and also it is battery operated. This is the only device that we own in Omicron that based on the battery, except I think the MPD, which is a different application for the partial discharge. This is how it looks like. It's a very handy one, 10 kg. It can give you single phase uh, voltage, 150 AC, 220 volt DC, 30 VA. And also you can use uh, some additional accessory, which I will talk about this one later for different application, which it can reach to 750 volt with a, a step up transformer, we call it VB04. I will, it is an optional, I will talk about this one later. Current, as I mentioned, 110 ampere AC, 100 ampere DC, 600 VA, which is enough to test all kinds of application, a self powered relay, electromechanical relay, and for sure, definitely static and numerical as well. We have a graphical color uh, use, a user interface. We have a control wheel, jog dial wheel, which uh, used for control for sure. Uh, it is a battery operated. Uh, it's, it has a, a good feature, which is for riding safety emergency stop. Um, and this is one of the mandatory things to be available in, in the testing device, especially with the high current and high voltage as well. Uh, we, can, we have also the USB compartment, which is used for uh, rerun a predefined uh, multiple sequence, which is saved before. Uh, easy of use, as you see right now, you can, uh, we have different test modules or distance to, test tools. One of these, it's quick, like, Quick CMC, but a single phase here. Uh, you can you can adjust the value, inject, and getting the feedback. And as you see right now here, it can measure also the angle, which is enable you uh, to measure the angle between the voltage and current, or even current and current based on the injected signal and uh, a measured signal. And also we have uh, time measurement. We all have also a ratio measurement in case you uh, you need to test a CT. It can give you the ratio directly uh, divided by five or, or one based on the CT and predefined calculation that you need to adjust. And also for sure you have the timeout and the trigger based on your configuration. Uh, also for the timer you can uh, uh, you can uh, play with the timer. Uh, give a condition for a start, give a condition for a stop, and for how many stages. The main benefits, run predefined sequence ramp, polarity checker, very light, it's a half weight of the industry standard because it's 10 kg only, battery operated, very regulated output. It is electronically uh, controlled, safe device by using emergency power off, and the sa uh, safety is essential. Segment for overview, it can be used for uh, utility, railway, service provider, equipment manufacturer, rental company, and industry as well. Again, this is a, 
uh, application of CT for the polarity, C bool can be used, or even you can use the L inbuilt measurement of the uh, Combano can be used for this. It's also designed to measure the CT burden, uh, not the CT itself, the burden of operation burden for the CT and BT can be used by, it can be measured by uh, Combano, uh, for, uh, Combano 100. Uh, for the application for the protection, it's uh, available for directional, non-directional, uh, thermal, and instantaneous, and inverse characteristic for overcurrent, directional overcurrent, and air fault, distance protection, but be careful, phase by phase. Uh, recloser function can be tested without the binary output. Uh, under voltage, over voltage, under frequency, over frequency, and many more based on your application. Uh, CTVT polarity check, CTVT ratio check, and CTVT burden check. Actually, here's the basic test, which uh, I'm, I, I highly recommend it to be used in the maintenance test because in the commissioning, I would not accept uh, CT ratio uh, by injecting 100 MB only in case you have a, uh, a high uh, CT ratio, for example, or a high VT ratio. It's not accepted, but I can accept this during the maintenance to check that everything is going fine. Uh, this is additional uh, function, which is also required for the grounding system. Uh, Combano 100, it can give you uh, uh, measure measurement of grounding impedance, step and touch voltage uh, by using uh, one of the accessory HGT1. Ground resistivity, uh, this is also another good feature that uh, we can we can use Combano for it. Grounding system continuity. Uh, it is uh, training free, or uh, you you don't you don't you didn't need a special training uh, to use a Combano. Actually, it's uh, uh, built in. We have a QR code available uh, on the cover. Uh, we have an application on Android and uh, uh, iOS, uh, Apple Store, Play Store. You can download it. Off, uh, offline also you can scan the QR for any application you would like to have and you will find the video tell you exactly step by step and sometimes also if you would like to read uh, the help is also available then uh, it's very easy to use a Combano 100. A lot of accessory we have a wide accessory range based on the application starting with the grounding system testing package, wiring check uh, add-on uh, terminal adapter Cable sets, uh, in case we need the, uh, to extend the length of the cable up to six meter, and for sure, the very famous yellow case, trans a very rigid one, transport trolley, is already available. This is the accessories with which I mentioned uh, uh, previous, and I, I told you that I will talk about this one later. The first accessory is called the VB04. It is a voltage booster. It's a kind of step up uh, transformer to boost the voltage from 150 uh, volt output to 750 single phase for sure, to uh, give you the possibility to do some application which is required higher voltage. And we have also BN01, it's a binary output relay, which can be used to test a uh, uh, circuit breaker. It's a very basic testing. If you would like to do a timing test for a circuit breaker, you can use Combano for uh, 100 by using this accessory. Uh, but again, it's a very basic test, as we mentioned in the main title of the uh, webinar today. It's a basic testing in case you need a comprehensive and very uh, detail, uh, big details about uh, testing circuit breaker. For sure, you can use a Cibano, one of the greatest device worldwide to do a circuit breaker analysis and circuit breaker testing. And the last one, CBF1, this is an accessory for a self-supplied relay. Some self-powered relay, it's very, very uh, high burden, huge burden actually. By using this accessory, it's become very easy. Once you connect it, you, you, it will enable you to test this kind of um, uh, self-powered relay. The last slide about the main benefit for, for uh, Combano 100. As we mentioned, electrically, electrical, electronically controlled, which is a device output, what is set it, 
one complex predefined sequence and RAM, as we mentioned, you can even use some a little of the advanced testing with Combano. Polarity check signal gener generation for quick setup of wiring check operated by state of the art battery for hours of use. And also it's a lightweight around 10 kg. This was the last slide in our webinar today. And I think now the time is suitable to open Q&A session. Oh, Ibrahim. Uh, yes, most of the Q&A has been answered. Uh, there is excellent. no pending question. Uh, just one question which came. came uh, okay. Yes, so one question which I was just about to answer. Maybe you can answer for everyone's benefit. What is the highest current can be obtained from Campano as primary injection? Uh, we have 110 uh, AC current can be injected. It's a limited time for sure, but we can use it for many application like, uh, for example, CTR issue by injecting in a primary and getting the secondary connected directly to, to the Combano to be measured and it will save this result. It also can be used uh, for 100 ampere DC doing the contact resistance measurement. Uh, uh, automatically, it will inject and uh, getting the result in very few seconds and it will be saved as well. Then the maximum capability is 100 ampere DC, 110 AC. Great. And Thank don't you very forget, much. 600, yeah. 600 PA is more than enough. It's, uh, all right, uh, all right, a good range of burden. Thank you very much. I would like yeah. to thank you all for your time to, that you spent it with us. And I promise that we have in future uh, many, many webinars, which you will uh, focus on practical and deep technical. Uh, please uh, try to follow us on LinkedIn. Uh, also on our webpage, the Academy webpage, you will find a lot of technical training webinars already available there. We are waiting for you. Thank you very much from my side and thank you for my colleagues Hoda and Aditya for their support. Thank you very much. Great. Yes. So we are good in time. A uh, few uh, comments. One is that you will be getting a feedback uh, um, form to be filled. Uh, please fill that and you will get an email with uh, all the handouts and everything. Some people said that they were not able to um, to have that. Uh, through their mobile devices or somewhere. So this is one thing. Um, Ibrahim, uh, there are a few questions which are coming and we would uh, keep the session open. If if someone has yeah, any no question, problem. we still yes, can please. extend for eight more minutes uh, to take any questions which are left out. If you want to ask anything, there are some raised hands. If you have some question to be asked, uh, I will unmute you. So yeah. there is there is an... Unre there is a raised hand. Let me unmute him. Yeah, please. I'm uh, I'm uh, very happy to receive your question anytime now or even later. You have my email. Just send me an email, and I will I will be happy to reply to you. And I'm I'm ready right now. If in case you have any question, please please go ahead, please, Um, uh, Mr. Baguera, uh, you have muted yourself. You can unmute yourself and ask your question. I have unmuted you from our side, so you have raised your hand. And uh, if you have any question, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Mr. Bougerga Mukdad. Yeah. Yes. Maybe he's not listening to us now. Huh. Okay. There is a question. Okay, there is a question. I will read it out. Uh, for economic reason, what are the devices that we need for an overall testing and diagnostic and maintenance? Because your company Omicron gives a huge number of testing devices, I need that information about. So I will be I will be very yeah. straightforward uh, and very clear answer. Uh, it's a bit on your budget. In case uh, your budget is very less, I would like and recommend uh, three ten is a uh, entry level. It's a budgetary uh, price. Uh, I think it is uh, applicable for all as a start. And in future, if you would like to upgrade to 353 to get the option of advanced testing, it will be the very suitable one. Then my voice will go directly to 310. In case your application doesn't require any kind of three-phase, you would like to only 
tests by using single phase test kit, then Combano. It's uh, very less price compared to the uh, three phase uh, test kit for sure. Then the answer to be clear, 310 as an entry level based on your uh, budget. In case you have a higher budget, definitely go to 356. Definitely, um, without, any, uh, without any doubt. But if your budget is limit, uh, limited, you can use 310. If you don't care about three phase, uh, Combine 100 will be the perfect sel uh, selection for you. I hope this uh, answer is uh, okay for you. All right, thank you. Um, so there is one more question. Can Campano be used for OLTC testing? Uh, no, unfortunately, no. For oil, uh, for oil, I think we have another another accessory with uh, uh, CBC to apply tan delta. I'm, I'm not expert in primary, but this is what I know uh, about our product range. But uh, and also uh, from P2, uh, our sister company, I think they have a solution for this. But Combano, no. Uh, it's not related to oil test uh, for any application for oil test. Uh, this is OLTC testing. This is a transformer. Uh, on load, on load tab changer. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No, no, no. Also, no. Uh, this Trano. What kind of test you would like to give a command to rise and uh, doing wiring, uh, wiring resistance or thickness ratio? Mostly, no, no. It is only uh, can be done by using CPC with a switch box or even single phase. Uh, CPC, uh, otherwise the dedicated device, which is just around 600, one of the perfect tools to uh, to test oil uh, on load tab change, but not combine. Okay, so let me let me add some comments here uh, because I think a lot of people are uh, comparing now Campano with the CPC 100. There are a lot of questions. Uh, focusing on CPC 100. So if you are, uh, if you want something powerful uh, with 800 amperes, uh, AC 400 ampere DC to 2 kV source, uh, CPC 100 will be a better solution there. But if you don't want something heavy and uh, more powerful, then you can uh, refer to the slide which Ibrahim is showing. Uh, so it depends on your application. You know, if, if you are doing something which is um, su sufficiently addressed with the Campano, why you know spend more effort in in that? But if if the specs of Campano cannot fu uh, fulfill that, then uh, CPC 100 is is a is a uh, multifunctional product which we are having in the market for a long time. So yeah, that's yes, yes. what I wanted uh, to add. It's an excellent answer based on the, your application and uh, your needs uh, uh, if you need this single phase light with a reasonable burden combine 100 definitely and the very low price compared to the other devices in case you need uh, a strong device which is uh, uh, used in most of all application mostly yes mostly most of the application in primary fields yes cpc 100 definitely yes with a wide range of accessories for sure Okay, one more question. When did the CMC310 came out? Uh, uh, exactly, no, but I think uh, <laughs> six years back, I think uh, it's a long time, by the way, it's a long time. Uh, thank you yeah. very much to ask this question. It's a long time back. It's not It's not new device like uh, 430, for example, which is three years old. No, it's a long time back. If I'm, if I'm not wrong, I think seven years back, I think, yeah, 2013. 2013 or 14 something yeah, like, okay. if i'm not wrong okay. yeah so more than five years uh, safe to yeah, say that yeah so i don't know the exactly what is the uh, exact <laughs> time but uh, it, is, it is yeah it's a very good question actually because many of our customers they are not aware um, about team c street and and thank you to ask this question to know yeah okay. yes please uh, do we have any other question um uh, okay no that's it that's it thank you very much okay thank you very much thank you thank you all uh have a safe uh, uh save be safe and have a nice day thank you very much good great so for everyone uh, you will uh, get a feedback form please fill it out handouts if you are not able to get it uh, on the software platform itself we will send you uh, because some of them have already mentioned us that they did not uh, they were not able to get the handouts so we will 
send it to you. And uh, again, thank you from my side. Hope you enjoyed it. It was uh, a nice, uh, nice little uh, uh, presentation prepared by Ibrahim on uh, this uh, important topic, which uh, tends to remain left out. So thank you for covering that, Ibrahim, and to Huda as well for organizing this. So great. We will uh, uh, close the session in another uh, 30 seconds. So if you are if you are still downloading handouts, please do that now. And uh, then we will leave. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.